G'day viewers and welcome to another episode of Inside Fishing. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Out of my comfort zone, I haven't done it too much, is chasing trout on fly. I'm going to be chasing them a little bit land based and out of the bass hunter boat as well. Let's hope these guys are active. Beautiful little rainbow from the fast water behind me. I'm just using a little brown nymph with a gold bead head. Uh, not a huge fish, put up a, a reasonable fight, but yeah, let's um, see if we can get a few more today. Now it's important when fishing an area like this, I'm making big long casts straight up into the, the fast moving water at the bottom of this rapid and I'm just letting the line sweep down with the nymph, float right down to behind me and then I'll just bring it back and repeat that process. I'll probably spend five or ten minutes working this particular area and then, and then move on from there. Yeah, that was just on that back cast when he floated around. I've just scored to bring it up to recast him. I think he's a good size too. Ooh. Just want to play him nice and gentle. Beautiful fish. As I said before, I'm casting into this fast moving water here and just letting the line come around. Very important to make sure you, you get that S out of the line. Keep, keep taking line, taking line so there's just a nice even flow of line coming around. And then just as I went to pull the, pull the line back out to make that next cast, bang. Beautiful little rainbow. colours on these rainbow trout are just extraordinary, as is the place we come to catch them, the beautiful environment, the creeks, let's let this guy go. For those guys just starting out, don't be too concerned about how good your cast looks, it's all about just getting the fly where it needs to be. I'm not the best caster, but you get that fly where it needs to be, nine times out of ten you're going to be onto that fish. So back to the flies. Now these are both wet style flies. Uh, we've done pretty well on the Mrs. Simpson streamer style fly over here. Also the nymph with the gold bead head. I was also using another brown nymph, but I kindly donated that one to a tree. Uh, yeah, it's simple to use. You just cast down. I generally start into the, um, in the faster flowing water. Cast him right up hard into the rapids and then just let him float down. Try and get him as, as slow as possible, nice and natural. Maybe if you feel like it, a couple of small little retrieves just to get that fly sitting right where you want it, where you've spotted that fish so it comes straight past his face. But yeah, so they're, they're the flies. Stuck to mainly the wet flies and we've had a pretty good day on them. So I've just pulled up here 
I just want to give you guys a quick rundown on the on the gear that I'm using at the moment. Uh, this is a duff rod from Custom Fishing Tools. Uh, it's a six weight rod. Generally, uh, most guys that fish a small stream like this will go with a four weight, sometimes a six. Doesn't particularly matter. If you're throwing those smaller flies, sometimes it's a lot better to have that four weight. The reel I'm using today is a little Akuma four to five weight. Now I've got a, a six weight floating fly line with a six pound sinking leader. I've been using a variety of wet flies, but for now, let's get back into it. fish shut down for a little while there so I just changed from the little brown nymph to a Mrs. Simpson streamer fly and um, just coming down the rapids just here behind us yeah he just just whacked it beautiful fish well we've had a beautiful day on the river really tested out those bass hunter boats before you go and plan your big trout session just remember there is a closed season in New South Wales, it's between the June long weekend and the October long weekend. So just jump online and check out your local area's closed seasons. My name's Bryce, and thanks for watching Inside Fishing.